First you're going to install the IE Geek Cam app and follow through these steps. Swipe through these pages and press start. Then you're going to click on setup and add your email address. Then go to your email and confirm and come back and add device on the app. Then click on battery camera and hold down the power button for 4 to 5 seconds. Hold down the reset button if you don't see a flashing red light. Select the Wi-Fi network you want to sync with. Choose your Wi-Fi router and enter in your password. Then press next. Then press next again. Then hold the QR code 5 to 8 inches away from the camera. Once you hear that sound, the camera has seen the QR code. Then you can press next and wait for it to connect. I've sped that section up. Then you'll get to this section and you can press next again. Put camera and phone at the place of camera. Press next again and now you can see what your camera can see. Here's some install tips for when mounting your camera. Here you can choose your family name and select which room you got this camera in. This is useful if you have many cameras on the same app. Here I'm just going to tap through these sections. I'm going to press on this image and it's going to show me what the camera can see. You can see the camera battery life, the Wi-Fi signal, the bit rate. If you press screenshot it will take a picture of what's on the screen. Or tap recording and it's going to do a small recording of what the camera can see. And it's going to save that in the album section. Press the intercom to speak. Hello, can you hear me? That will play your voice out of the speaker on the back of the camera. Here you can change between Full HD and SD resolution when viewing the camera. The Full HD is the best quality, but if the image is buffering, I find that SD allows the image to play back smoother. Here you can see a button for the light, which you can press again to turn it off. A button here for the siren. If you press motion detection, you can turn the motion detection on or off. This will send you notifications through the app. And here you can also adjust the detection sensitivity. The higher the number, the easier it is to set off the motion detection. Here you can set up an alert plan if it suits you. Alarm area. Here you can select areas around the image where you don't want the motion detection to be alerted. For example, if you have leaves moving in the image, if you keep setting the motion detection off, you can remove that. Here you can choose to have the light to go off and the siren to go off. The motion is detected. And here's your full colour mode at night. The night vision will be in black and white and when the light comes on you'll see in colour. In album will be where you pressed screenshot or record. Here you can save these to your phone. If you press the settings cog in the top right corner you'll see a bigger list of settings that you can change. Here you can check the battery management. Now I'm using a micro SD card. But you can sign up to save your footage to the cloud. They have different paying plans. Now if your camera was taken, you'd still have that footage saved to the cloud for you to look at. But if the camera was taken with my micro SD card in it, then I wouldn't be able to view the footage that's on the card. So that's something worth bearing in mind, even though I tend to use the SD card. Now here you can adjust the sound settings. In the image settings, you can flip the screen upside down for people who want to mount this camera upside down. If you go to the Messages tab, and click on Motion Detection. Here you'll see all the short clips and time when the motion detection was set off. If you go down to the Me tab, you can share this camera with another user. If you click on History, you'll see these blue lines of short recorded clips. That's on a timeline throughout the day, which you can pinch to zoom in and out. Then place the red needle onto the blue section and it will play that clip. I tend to look at the images in the Messages tab that we looked at earlier. Press the Network Indicator if you want this camera to appear off without showing the blue light. Or press it to turn it on.